that, draw, that, that that plane is all the points that solves this guy. Then what about this one? 2x minus y plus 0z. So z actually can be anything. Again, it's going to be another plane. Each row in a 3 by 3 problem gives us a plane in three dimensions. So this one is going to be some other plane. Maybe, it, maybe I'll try to draw it like this. And those two planes meet in a line. So if I have two equations, just the first two equations in, th in three dimensions, those give me a line, the line where those two planes meet. And now the third guy is a third plane, and it goes some, somewhere. OK, those three things meet in a point. Now, I don't know where that point is, frankly, uh, but uh, linear algebra will find it. The main point is that there is, that the three planes, because they're, you know, they're not parallel, they don't, they're not special, they're, they do meet in one point, and that's the solution. But uh, maybe you can see that this row picture is getting a little hard to see. The row picture was a cinch uh, when we looked at two, two lines meeting. When we look at three planes meeting, it's not so clear, and in four dimensions, probably a little less clear. So, can I quit on the row picture? I'll quit on the row picture before I've successfully found the point where the three planes meet. All I really want to, to see is that, there, that the row picture consists of three planes, and if everything works right, three planes meet in one point, and that's the solution. Now, you can tell I prefer the column picture. OK, so let me take the column picture. That's x times, so there were two x's in the first equation, minus one x is, I'm just taking, and no x is in the third. It's just the first column of that. And how many y's are there? There's minus one in the first equation, two in the second, and maybe minus three in the third. Just the second column of my matrix. And z times no z's, minus one z's, and four z's. And it's those three columns, right, that I have to combine to produce the right-hand side, which is zero, minus one, four. OK, so what have we got on this left-hand side? A linear combination. It's a linear combination now of three vectors, and they happen to be, each one is a three-dimensional vector. So we want, to, we want to know what combination of those three vectors produces that one. Shall I try to draw the column picture then? So since these vectors have three components, so it's some multiple. Let me draw in the first column as before. So I, x is 2 and y is minus 1. Maybe, maybe there's the first column. Y, the, the second column has maybe a minus 1 and a 2 in the y's and minus 3's, some, somewhere there possibly, column 2. And the third column has no, no 0, minus 1, 4. So how shall I draw that? So nothing in this. This was the this was the first component. The second component was a minus one. Maybe up here. That's column three. That's that's the column zero minus one and four. This guy. So again, what's my problem? My my what this equation is asking me to do is to combine these three vectors with the right combination to produce this one. Well, you can see what the right combination is. Because in this special problem, specially chosen by the lecturer, uh, that right-hand side that I'm trying to get is actually one of these columns. So I know how to get that one. So what's the solution? 
what combination will work. I just want one of these and none of these. So x should be 0, y should be 0, and z should be 1. The com that's the combination. None of that, none of that, one of those is obviously the right one. So this column 3 is actually the same as b in this particular problem. I, I, I made it work that way just so we would get an answer, 0, 0, 1. So somehow that's the point that where those three planes met, and I couldn't see it before. Of course, I won't always be able to see it from the column picture either. It's the next lecture, actually, which is about elimination, which is the systematic way that everybody every every uh, bit of software too uh, a, a production large scale software would solve the the equations so the the lecture that's coming up if i was to add that to the to the syllabus will be about how to find xyz in uh, in all cases can i just think again though about the big picture the big, by the big picture, I mean, let's keep this same matrix on the left, but imagine that we have a different right-hand side. Oh, let me take a different right-hand side. Uh, so I'll change that right-hand side to something that actually is also pretty special. Let me change it to, suppose I, if I add those first two columns, that would give me a 1 and a 1 and a minus 3. There's a very special right-hand side. I, I just cooked it up by adding this one to this one. Now, what's the solution with this new right-hand side? The solution with this new right-hand side is clear. It took, now I took one of these, one of these, and none of those. So, so actually, it just changed around to this when I took this new right-hand side. OK. So the, in, the, in the row picture, I have three different planes, three, three, three new planes meeting now at this point. In the column picture, I have the same three columns, but now I'm combining them to produce this guy. And it turned out that column one plus column two, which would be somewhere there, there is the right column. One of this and one of this would give me the, the new B. OK, so that's like we squeezed in an extra example. But now think about all Bs, all right-hand sides. Could I get, can I solve these equations for every right-hand side? Uh, can I say that, ask that question? So that's the algebra question. Can I solve AX equal B for every B? Let me write that down. Can I solve? AX equal B for every right-hand side B. I mean, is there a solution? And then, if there is, elimination will give me a way to find it. I'm just, I really wanted to ask, is there a solution for every right-hand side? So now, can I put that in different words? In this linear combination words? So in linear combination words, do the linear combinations of the columns fill three-dimensional space? Every B means all the Bs in three-dimensional space. So uh, I'm, do you see that I'm just asking the same question in, in different words? Solving a, a, AX, oh, that's very important. A times X, when I multiply a matrix by a vector, I get a combination of the columns. Uh, uh, let me, I'll write that down in a moment. So that. You see, but in my column picture, that's really what I'm doing. I'm taking linear combinations of these.